Hey YouTube, today I'll be sharing intel on the Yale supplement, so stick around. Hi, thank you for joining me on my channel for the best college essay advice. Subscribe and hit the bell. Yale is picky, and in a good way. They ask you for research-driven answers, creative outlets for you, and we will get to it all. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. With so many of my students in their dream schools, I know how to make you stand out and be as memorable as possible. Stick around. Essay one, and I'll read the prompt first. Students at Yale have plenty of time to explore their academic interests before committing to one or more major fields of study. Many students either modify their original academic direction or change their minds entirely. As of this moment, what academic areas seem to fit your interests or goals more comfortably? And please pick up to three from this list. And so I'll kind of show that for you. After you pick the three academic interests, you have 100 words to explain why. So you wanna make sure that you have some sort of connection. Have you had an intellectual project, a creative project, a community service um, that kind of has given you some first real world, first hand experience? Um, I've seen examples of students that want to study healthcare administration and they volunteered at a hospital, let's say. So kind of what drives you to your major interests? And you don't have to kind of give you know, a third, a third, a third to the three academic interests, you could weigh one more heavy than the others, but you wanna make sure that you have that connection. Essay two, your why us. So what is it about Yale that has led you to apply? This is 125 words or less, so you wanna be compelling, direct, and brief. You wanna make sure that you are kind of well-researched, that you kind of are covering all your bases, all the main bases. I'll be linking above my how to research your why us essays and in the description below you have my why us template if that's of interest you want to make sure that yes you kind of cover all your bases in research that this essay is very research heavy because high caliber um, institutions like Yale want to kind of know that their students um, know about them and that they are convinced that they as students are a good fit beyond the brand so um, really research heavy and I kind of like I said linked above how to do that research but also kind of connect whether you've taken a class that's similar to a class at a, a deeper level in the undergraduate um, course catalog or you've done some community service that kind of takes you beyond the um, classroom in an interesting way that you can kind of continue at Yale so connect something personal about you and the connection you have to Yale or how you see yourself living and learning there step three these are very similar to the USC short answers. They're about 35 words or less, and I'll link that video up here in case you're applying there too. Um, so these are kind of image-driven, catchy, engaging, some could be funny, and, and then you wanna make sure that you strategize. What aspect of who you are as a candidate do they not know? And then maybe work that in to your answers. So like for instance, um, for uh, one of the questions, they'll ask about kind of like what course um, you would teach. Okay, so maybe um, you would teach uh, the history of popular dance in Colombia if you're Colombian American. Um, so that may be of interest. And so these are the questions specifically. So these are the questions. What inspires you? Yale's residential colleges regularly host conversations with guests representing a wide range of experiences and accomplishments. What person, past or present, would you invite to speak? What question would you ask them? Another one. You are teaching a Yale course. What is it called? Another one. Most first year Yale students live in suites of four to six students. What do you hope to add to your suite mates experience? What do you hope they will add to yours? So especially the course you teach, what's the title? What would you add to the suite mate experience? All that you could be very personal, very identity driven, and it could be an opportunity to add something new to your application that you haven't really shared. Step four. So this is your first 250 word essay. And so for all coalition and common application, and I'm gonna read it for you, think about an idea or topic that has been intellectually exciting for you. Why are you drawn to it? So you can think about adding something beyond the major, let's say. So are you an engineering major who loves to dance? Or are someone who loves photography? Are you a chemistry major who loves a community garden and you're part of a community garden in your um, kind of high school or you know near your home? So think about how you can incorporate something new and refreshing into your application 
and you're still kind of teaching them an aspect of who you are and so like that community garden let's say you can then go a step further and how you've learned about urban design and urban planning and how you've learned to connect with people of all walks of life and you know not only teenagers or your parents let's say so you can kind of show breath and open up the topic beyond to larger kind of more thematic points that really kind of deepens your intellectual curiosity but also makes you more engaging let's say do you need help structuring one of your supplements? Comment below, I'd love to help. Step five, if you're applying through Coalition or Common App, you have one of these two essays and I'm gonna read them for you. They are 250 words or fewer and they are, first one, reflect on your engagement with a community to which you belong. How has this engagement affected you? So let's say the previous example about the community garden, that would be a great one here. This can also um, recycle with the community oriented supplement with um, for Michigan. Um, because they're about the same um, length as well. So just in case you are applying to both, that's something that you can consider. Uh, you wanna think about how you define community. So if you are on a, on a cross country or track and field team, uh, so you've built community through sweat and calluses, let's say, or kind of are you narrating a family holiday gathering and how loud and crazy and all of these um, fun characters are a part of your family but they have nurtured and shaped who you are. So it could be very identity heavy or it could be kind of an interesting, unique um, poetry space that you define as community for you because they've nurtured confidence and, and creativity for you. So think about how you define community and then go for it in a very image driven way. The other option for the 250 word essay is this prompt and I'll read it to you. Yale students, faculty and alumni engage issues of local, national and international importance. Discuss an issue that is significant to you and how your college experience could help you address it. So you wanna be thoughtful, you wanna be precise, and you wanna show kind of how you are adaptable and um, really committed to the practice of um, effective communication, of discourse, of kind of engaging in conversation and debate. That more than anything, uh, more than any specific issue is gonna be most in most important, that you are willing to listen to another side, that you're willing to come together and be adaptable and flexible and compromise. That is the trait you wanna show. And then also they want art. So they want either a video file, audio file, or a picture um, that really kind of shows you in your element doing your thing. Bonus for my engineers, yay, you have one more essay, which is basically a quasi why us and um, connected to what you've already done in STEM or in an engineering related kind of space. So you wanna make sure that you don't forget that essay. Um, if you wanna check if your essay, your main college essay is as strong as it should be, it needs to be, you wanna download my free college essay guide in the description below. I also have my YS template there. I'm also already working with students even if they have a draft, so even if you already have a draft and you wanna make sure, you wanna get my eyes on them, make sure you um, get our college essay guide, but then also I have the courses on my website. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, please comment, yay, or question, and I'd love to help, and, and please share with your college-bound friends, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, have a good one.